Mm. How would you determine success of Agile in your organisation? That's an interesting one. And I've come across so many ways, most of which, when you dig a little, don't make any sense at all. Because they will look at how well they adopt Scrum. Maybe Scrum's a good answer, maybe it's not. Um, they will look at, are they displaying the behaviours? Are they following? One of my favourites was essentially, could they read the Scrum Guide and follow it to the letter? Not sure what that told you. Instead, what we need to be thinking about is why are they adopting Agile? Agile is not an end. It's a means to an end. So what is that end? What were they actually aiming for as an organisation? You need to dig into that. There's often business drivers and things like that kicking around that we can get our hands on. What's important to them? Has the introduction of Scrum, of Agile, helped with those levers? Has it moved the needles in a positive way? And really, that's what we want to be tracking. Not adoption and agility and Agile and maturity and all of that stuff. Are we able to make customers happy? Are we able to move the needles of the organisation in the direction they want? That's success. Okay. We believe, we have a hypothesis, that the introduction of Scrum, the introduction of various agile tools, techniques, ways of working, will help us. Uh -huh. But they're only hypotheses. We need to test them. We need to do something, be introduced Scrum at the team level. And have a look. Is that helping us do what we want to do? Is that helping us, big picture, achieve our objectives? That's how you check whether or not what you're doing is working. It is not whether or not your team are great at Scrum, because they could be awesome at Scrum. They could be brilliant and not move those needles at all. Why would a company continue investing in that? It wouldn't be a sensible move. If they're doing it really well and it's still not helping, well, it's simple. The hypothesis is invalidated. We need to go back to the drawing board and find another way of moving those needles. So for me, as a Scrum Master, as an Agile coach, as an executive, as all the many hats I wear, when I think about what we're doing, we always have to think about why are we doing it. It's not to be more Agile. Why do we want to be more Agile? Dig deeper. Find out what the drivers are and measure that. Is what we're doing helping that? And if it is, brilliant. Double down. Keep going. You will find a limit to it. And if it's not, stop it. Try something else. I don't think it's rocket science. We just have to remember we aren't here solely to make great scrum teams. We are here to make delighted customers. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.